Good for you, Wix. <laughs> no, this is it. Isaac's the most confident. That's all we yeah. need. <laughs> Isaac's our rock. Isaac's gonna carry us. States to take concrete steps towards reducing gun violence and protecting its citizens. Clearly, there's a huge issue with guns and gun violence in the United States, and more specifically, assault weapons. So, the assault ban of 2023 is a crucial piece of legislation that aims to reduce the availability of firearms that are often used in mass shootings. So, the ban defines assault weapons as semi automatic firearms that have the ability to accept a detachable magazine and possess one or more military style features such as pistol, such as pistols, pistol grip, adjustable stock, or threaded barrels. Since the federal assault weapons ban expired in 2004, several mass shootings have occurred highlighting the need for stricter gun control measures. The 1984 uh, assault weapons ban was a landmark piece of gun control legislation it was enacted to stop the proliferation of military-style weapons, including AK-47s, Uzis, and AR-15s in the United States. The assault weapons ban prohibited the manufacture, transfer, and position of certain semi-automatic firearms and magazines capable of holding more than 10 rounds. It's also required, it also required background checks on all firearm transactions at gun shows. Supporters of the assault weapons ban argued that it was needed to protect the public from danger posed by these types of weapons. According to the National Institute of Justice, the ban significantly reduced the number of assault weapons available in the United States. The assault weapons ban also had an impact on gun violence. According to an evaluation of the law by the National Research Council, it appears to have contributed to a reduction in gun violence during its duration. The assault weapons ban also had a positive impact on public opinion. According to a Gallup poll, public support for the ban rose from 56% in 1994 to 67% in 2000. The assault weapon ban of 2023 proposes a comprehensive solution to tackling gun violence in America. This bill also defines assault weapons as semi-automatic firearms that can accept detachable mag magazines and have one or more military-style features. The feature of an assault weapon make it easy to fire multiple rounds quickly and accurately, which poses a very big danger to public safety. The assault weapons ban of 2023 aims to reduce the, availabil the availability of weapons that have no practical civilian use and have been frequently used in mass shootings. The assault weapons ban of 2023 proposes a ban on the sale, transfer, manufacture, and possession of all assault weapons and high capacity magazines. The bill proposes a buyback program for owners of assault weapons and high capacity magazines. The bill contains exemptions for law enforcement and military personnel. The bill proposes increased funding for research into gun violence and prevention and public safety measures. Studies have shown that countries with strict gun control laws have fewer incidents of gun violence. The, con the continued availability of assault weapons and high capacity magazines poses a very big threat to all public safety. Mass shootings have become a, a prevalent issue in the United States and an analysis conducted by the Center for American Progress found that between 2009 and 2018, there were 115 mass shootings in the United States resulting in the loss of 934 lives and the injury of 1,416 individuals. Assault weapons have been used in some of the deadliest mass shootings, including the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting, the Pulse nightclub shooting, and the Las Vegas shooting. 
Restricting assault weapons would reduce the number of mass shootings that occur in the United States. These weapons are designed specifically for the purpose of killing large numbers of people quickly and efficiently. Taking them out of circulation would likely reduce the number of mass shootings as well as the number of casualties in those shootings. Restricting US, law, re, restricting US assault weapons can help prevent other crimes in different countries related to terrorists and cartel group and violence. It would also reduce gun violence in general. These weapons are often used in gang-related shootings and other types of violence. Taking them out of circulation would likely reduce the amount of gun violence in the United States. Stricter gun control measures, including a ban on assault weapons, have been shown to have a positive impact in reducing gun violence in countries that have adopted them. It is time for the United States to take concrete steps towards reducing gun violence and protecting its citizens. And I know I was supposed to do this in the beginning, but I am Leo Navani. This is Aksa Lafour. This is Anna Ross. And Loridia. Loridia? Okay, sorry. No. Loridia uh, Torres. Sorry, guys. That would be awful. This is Blake, this is Sam, and this is River. Uh, we should not, and we should not pass the assault weapons ban in 2023. We use this term should as it implies moral culpability that is it is used to indicate obligation, duty, or correctness. Our opponents, the affirmative, argue for the passage of this bill. However, this bill will infringe on constitution given rights and ignore other factors that contribute to gun violence in America other than the, than the complete removal of AARs. The potential damage caused by assault weapons is overshadowed by the potential dangers of the bill, namely it being an attack on the Constitution and legal precedent, unintended policy issues, and the bill being a band-aid slapped on the issue of gun violence in America. Since the founding of our Constitution, the Bill of Rights were added to include the Second Amendment, which states a well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The notion that assault rifles are most reliable for mass shootings is false. According to Sean Philpott Jones, an expert in policy and politics, a mass shooting is defined as the killing of four or more. Thus, when looking at mass shootings that assault rifles were used in, you are looking at less than 1% of cases, according to Larry Mays and Rick Reynolds, in making sense of criminal justice policies and practices. Furthermore, after the federal assault weapon ban that was enacted in 1994, that placed restrictions on assault weapons, not complete a complete ban. The study post-ban saw that the law had little overall impact on violent crime reduction, according to Mason Rudd. The proposed ban on weapons assault would exacerbate black market efforts to Oxford Dictionary, defined as an illegal traffic or trade in officially controlled or scarce commodities armed criminals with high power weapons. The passing of this bill would further reduce marginalized group rights to defend themselves from violence and oppression. Violent hate crimes and white nationalist act of terrorism are on the rise. The amount of violent crimes committed jumping from an already frightening 1972 in 2019 to 2,755 in 2020 and with white supremacist terrorist attacks also on the rise since 2016, with 336 incidents and 165 deaths in 2019. This is all made the worst by gun legislation, having a rich history of being used in order to control and weaken marginalized communities. With black codes enacted after the Civil War and purposefully biased and oppressive legislation targeted against law-abiding, African-American gun owners continuing into the following centuries, such as when the then-Governor Reagan passed the Mulford Act in 1967, prohibiting open carry of firearms after the Black Panthers lawfully openly carried, thus passing this bill would harm society by weakening marginalized communities' abilities to defend themselves from legitimate threats to their safety and lives. Infringing on the Second Amendment will assist in illegal arms to obtain assault weapons, which is the black market, zip guns, and 3D printed ARs. In looking at the nation's historical tradition, as it was written, Bruin versus New York, the government must demonstrate that the regulation is consistent with the nation's historical tradition of 
firearm regulation. Thus, it is only held that if such regulation is consistent with historical tradition, may said regulation be passed. However, as we must note, there were no assault rifles in the United States. Upon the founding of the Bill of Rights that hosts the Second Amendment, thus the law, according to Bruin test, is presumed to be a direct infringement on the Second Amendment, as it fails the newly set precedent of historical tradition. The proposed ban on assault weapons would exacerbate black market efforts, too. Oxford Dictionary defines as an illegal traffic or trade officially controlled by scarce commodities, armed criminals with high power weapons. As can be seen, there is lots that negate the affirmative's reasoning to enact this bill, including constitutionality, availability, and dead statistics that do not correlate Americans dying in assault weapons. The, ter uh, the terms we feel most important to define should, used from the Oxford Dictionary, used to indicate obligation, duty, or correctness. Assault weapons, as defined by the bill, are any of the following. Regardless of country or manufacturer or caliber of ammunition accepted, a semi-automatic rifle that has the capacity to accept a detachable ammunition and feeding device and at least one modification. A semi-automatic pistol with an ammunition and feeding device and at least one modification. A semi-automatic shotgun that has the capacity to accept a detachable or fixed ammunition and feeding device that has the capacity to accept more than five rounds and at least one modification. Or shotgun with a revolving cylinder, all AK types and all AR types, semi-automatic from the Oxford Dictionary, is partially automatic. Um, we're going to take a time out for 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Yeah. Here's what we want. Here's what we want. Here's what we So to uh, go on off what you said about the Second Amendment, since this country has been founded, the Second Amendment has been interpreted and changed so many times. It first started as um, talking about militias, and then over time it became like a personal thing. So um, like I said, it has changed over time, before so the Second I, Amendment... Before I say that, um, summarize the past weapons ban. The past weapons ban? Um, Sorry. So the past weapons ban uh, prohibited the manufacture, transfer, and possession of certain semi-automatic weapons and firearms and magazine caps capable of holding more than 10 rounds. It also required background checks on all firearms and transaction at gun shows. Uh, what are these statistics of how much those bans reduced gun violence and how much they reduced the number of guns? So uh, it had a positive impact. Um, so public support of the ban rose 56% to 67% just from 1994 to 2000. And it also um, it, uh, it contributed to a reduction in gun violence during its duration, according to um, the justice of, justice of Center of American Progress, my bad. How is this built? Also, to uh, just just one thing, do we not have an like obligation to save lives? Like, I get uh, the whole like we can take away assault weapons and like we can keep all the other weapons, so we can like start you know like decreasing the amount of violence due to these weapons. So I feel like we have an obligation to save lives, and by taking away weapons that can literally kill thousands of not thousands but like hundreds of people in like two seconds. I think we have a right.
a working span of 2023 should be enacted for the past the Houses of Congress. I think that assault weapons could be used as a form of self-defense, or the mere idea that it would not be a crime is irrational. According to the source of gun control, or using the weapon ban, the law to find in the debt with using checks and establishes a restrict the individual from purchasing the weapon. Factors can include age and the mental well-being of the person. With this, the Mother Jones Investigation, a non-profit organisation who investigated reporting, depicted shocking statistics of mass shootings and the death rates that increased to around 63%, with the injury rate of being an unspeakable statistic of 156%. It is already being seen that bills related with this matter have made a difference. An example would be of the 1994 bill that motivated many states such as California, New York, Delaware, New Jersey, to realign and amend their laws. The was seen effective in the 2019 study where a plethora of evidence was gathered. This was shown in the results as mass shooting was 70% less likely to occur. Using this pragmatic approach, New York banned people from possessing, manufacturing, transporting and selling these assault weapons within the state. Another example would be Delaware, in which they took a step ahead and to the extent banned parts and uses of the devices in which in the long term would consequently turn into automatic weapons. Assault weapons inflict greater damage compared to handguns, as each round is approximately four times the velocity of the handgun when fired. In addition to this, these deadly weapons are made to inflict greater damage and wounds compared to the typical handgun, as the shooter is able to fire more rounds in a short time frame. Even more people that are, even people that are gun owners are supporting this bill and have come to terms that possibly there's an epidemic of violence related to assault weapons. With this, there is more support for the new gun restrictions, which contain the ban of sale, manufacturing, and importation of these weapons. It affects families and communities, which is one of the reasons why the government argued that gun laws <coughs> need to be addressed, as well as acknowledging how much work needs to be established, including putting forward the assault weapon ban, section 25. In addition, this can extend positive changes, such as having background checks for the youngest gun buyers, and providing funding in regards to mental health and violence intervention programs that can help the individual and others at the same time. Linking back to this, President Biden, alongside the other officials, expressed their views by quoting back from the Guardian newspaper. The majority of the American people agree with this common sense question, and there can be no greater responsibility than to do all we can to ensure the safety of our children, our communities, and our nation. Many laws prohibit the car that carrying assault weapons in schools and sensitive areas, such as the government and federal buildings, including embassies, which is self-explanatory. The Second Amendment is not an unlimited right to own guns. I found that in a 2018 study, which was conducted, that a staggering amount of 91% violated the law. Moreover, guns are rarely used in self-defense. Only 0.79%, so around 235,700 individuals protected themselves from a threat with the idea in mind of using the least employed protective behavior, such as the use of a firearm or assault weapon. Also, the idea of the assault weapon ban being put in place which reduced the amount of accidental deaths, around 50% were unintentional, unintentional fatal shooting. What's more, these could have been protected by placing restrictions on the loaded indicators of the gun. In recent case studies, they have shown a correlation that the presence of an assault weapon is more likely to make a conflict or argument escalate. Around 1,962 deaths, approximately 60%, was caused due to the impromptu arguments and disagreements in which the individual would lose control and would use the employment of the assault weapon. Also, when comparing the information with other countries such as Switzerland and Finland, it shows that they have much yeah, that they have a much lower death rate and injury rate, with only 23 deaths due to assault weapons compared to the United States, states which is 27 times higher and around 10 times more in high, high income counties and areas. As a pastime, it is dangerous and even dated back to when Ronald Reagan said that these weapons should be included in the assault weapon ban, with linking back to the fact that they cause unintentional deaths due to the shooter being mistaken or mis missing the intended aim whilst hunting. Many argue that the 2022 amendment allows the right to gun ownership by placing the assault weapon ban will not fulfill the individual rights. But when looking back at previous laws and case studies, such as the District of Columbia versus Heller, it actually prohibited weapons and also the idea that it was a potential threat to state sovereignty. It was also concerned that it would increase crime in the urban areas. Despite any ruling that was made by the court, many states issued the ban on these weapons, including Boston, Philadelphia, and New York. As well as this, it was drafted, discussed, and ratified. It was also ruled out that the 2022 amendment never guaranteed individual rights. 
how many lives will be lost until the hotel sense that the main reason is resolved. Night, Ruby? Yes. Hello, my name is River Bailey, and I'm speaking on behalf of the negative, and we should not pass the assault rifle ban in 2023. Judge, before I go into why we should, shouldn't pass this bill, let's focus on why we should. And this is particularly hard, because the affirmative lacks accurate and adequate uh, evidence. What they won't tell you is that post-1994 ban, there was actually no difference in homicides. And this is according to Rick Riddle and Mays, uh, Rick and uh, Mays, experts in criminal justice uh, policy and practices, over 30 years of experience. They actually did their own self-active study, and there's no difference. They mentioned the gun show loophole. Well, they mentioned that there was a background check. This is actually false. At any gun show loopholes, there's no need for a background check. You can buy assault rifles, uh, pistols, all you need is a government issue ID that says you're 21 years or older. 